ಸರ್ವಂ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರಂ ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ಕಂಸಚಾನೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಂದನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ತ್ವಮೇವ ಮಾತಾ ಚ ಪಿತತ್ವಮೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಬಂಧುಶ್ಚ ಸಖತ್ವಮೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ವಿದ್ಯಾದ್ರವಿಡಂ ತ್ವಮೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಗುರುದೇವ ದೇವ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಪಂಚದಶಿ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದೆ ಆತ್ಮಾನಂದ ಬೈ ವಿಜಾರಣ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ನೋ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ನೋ ದಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫಿ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ it's not a new knowledge it is a recognition of what i am because i taking myself what i am not as i am in my daily transactions as an ignorant person because i don't know who i am and therefore i take myself i am this i am this starting from the body and the body and the mind and the intellect and different from other bodies mind and intellects and the world also different from me whereas and i know what exactly my nature is through vedanta because vedanta points out that not only i am an existent consciousness i am also source of happiness and also the source of infinite happiness because that is my nature therefore brahmanande atmanandaha and in the process say so how did this world come because if i am a self but this is a non self here which is starting from akasha vayu agni apa prithvi all the whole creations the 14 worlds and from the scientific point you have galaxies and galaxies away the whole universe is uh, unimaginable is so big how did it come where did it come and all that even from science point those who want to know the so called big bang so called big bang occurred where if you ask the question the big bang occurred everywhere because where is the concept of space space itself comes with the big bang and how do you know it big bang and particular time if you the extrapolation of the time is you given on so many billions years ago big bang occurred or so people and so how do they come up with that number because if they look at further and further galaxies they are moving away further away and if you in extrapolate backwards they meet at a point and that point extrapolation is essentially you can figure it out by the speed of the light how long or how long ago the big bang occurred but the time concept itself starts with the big bang and where does the big bang occur wherever the extrapolation meets where do they meet where the fellow is doing the extrapolation that means the conscious entity has to be there in order for determining where exactly the big bang occurred if a fellow sitting in galaxies and galaxy away and he we starts analyzing the system and it will meet there where the big bang occurred where he is that means wherever the consciousness is that's where the big bang occurred because without the presence of the consciousness the existence of even big bang cannot be established this is essentially the chit and sat or go together and that's what vedanta says unless you include the fellow who is analyzing the system you have only incomplete analysis and any theory based on incomplete data is obviously not really completely true it may be true at a relative level but not true from the absolute level so what is avakasha and akasha first thing is created is akasha so what is its swarupam swarupa means what is its nature what is its form this is the form is essentially its uh, its accommodative accom its capacity to accommodate so avakasha that is provides avakasha is called akasha so how do you define space this is how the definition is whatever that accommodates is there is a space there 
So if you are ready to accommodate, that means you have enough space in your room. So we don't have place there. I cannot accommodate you. That means there is no space. So space is defined as that which has capacity to accommodate. So anything is in space only because it accommodates. So even the galaxies and galaxies and galaxies, uh, billions of galaxies are accommodated in the space, space being infinite. So along with the, the, the existence of that space, because space is, when you say space is, space exists. And along with the existence, other two properties also come with it. That means asti, bhati, priyam. These are the properties coming from the Brahman. Sat, chit, ananda. So sat, chit, ananda is expressed in everyone, every object that comes through from the atma. So atma, akasha, sambhuta, akasha, vayu, etc. So everything has existence and genesis and consciousness and also ananda also. So question is, is how do we know that other things are there? The, the, the besides existence and the, the consciousness and ananda are also there. Because I don't see any consciousness in the space. Okay, it's easy not. So these are the questions that are being addressed and in this particular slokas a very interesting one has to find out here. We said uh, 71 Avakashe Vishnu Teda Tatra Kim Bhati Tevada. So how do you know that if our, the existence was there for Akasha? So Sunya may be the Chedastu Namat Rudra Vibhati. So if there is no space, if the space is absent, then what happens? So this is first of all space cannot be absent, but it can be absent in the deep sleep state. The question is, how do you know the space is absent? So it is not there in the deep sleep state. So then what is there? The non-existence of the space is there. That itself is a presence of something there. So the what was there, what was disappeared is only Nama Rupa, not the essence. That's what the whole concept is. So what is the essence? I am the essence because without me, existence of the space is only Nama Rupa. I myself project the whole thing. I withdraw myself. So space is only in me only coming out. So the when I go to deep sleep state, the space and time are folded because I am there, but everything is not there. So it is not a sunyam, it's not a uh, zero, absence of anything is, is non-existence of anything. Because when I say, example is when you go to hall and say there is nobody here. How do you know there is nobody here? I can see. If you can see, that means you are there to see. So I am there to know that this space is not there. Time is not there. That means I am there, therefore I am, the pure existence is there. When I withdraw the, the properties of Nama and Rupa, what is there is existence alone. That's what is being pointed out here. 72 we are doing now. Tadruktva deva tat sattvam, Tadruktva deva tat sattvam, Audasi nina tat sukham, Audasi nina tat sukham, Anukulya prati kulya, Anukula prati kulya, Hinam yat tat trijam sukham, Hinam yat tat yat tat yat tat trijam sukham, together. Tadruktva deva tat sattvam, Audasi nina tat sukham, Anukulya prati kulya hinam, Yat tat trijam sukham, so tadruk twat so if that is so or it being so eva that that sattvam is existence audasinyam being independent of space so the space is there i am there space is withdrawn i am there so my existence of the space depends on me but existence of myself doesn't depend on this space 
essentially I am independent of the space also whereas the space depends on me I can project the space I can withdraw that's why Atmana Akasha Sambhutaha from self only Akasha came wow the self when I go to deep sleep state I withdraw by the space time everything and when I withdraw everything there is no subject object duality but there is only absence of subject object duality but not the absence of the pure subject without the object that is I am there because I say I slept very well and I know that I don't know anything that means the 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 knowledge is not there also the problem is also I don't know that I don't know also is the deep sleep state even though I don't know anything but I don't know that I don't know anything because if I know that I don't know anything, I'm not sleeping. So, if I don't know that I don't know anything only because, not that I'm not there, because the mind to know, I need a mind to know. Therefore, without the mind, I cannot know anything. Even the absence of the mind itself cannot be known. It's very important because for knowledge also, I need the mind. It's not beyond the mind etc. So, Tadukta Deva Tat Sattvam So, that existence is there even when the space is not there. That existence cannot be removed. What I have removed is only Nama Rupa. Rupa is accommodatability of the space. Nama is what we call Akasha. So, both are withdrawn. Audasinina Tatsukam. So the being independent of space, that is pure space. That is that I am is pure without any perturbations or without any duality. Therefore, Tatsukam, that is the happiness also. That is the bliss. Anukulya prati pratikulyahinam. There there is no question of Anukulya means that I like it, therefore this I am happy. I don't like it, therefore I am un unhappy. That kind of things are not there. So Anukulya Pratikulya Hinam. So without having a favorable or unfavorable aspects of it in the in the in the in the case. So Anukulya Pratikulya Hinam. Yatatrijam Sukham. So that essentially the absence of that is is nijam sukham that is the real happiness only so the bliss of the self is is and is not in the likes and dislikes of anything but it absence of everything but not absence of myself that is what i am so essentially the happiness that comes from myself only 73 anukulye harsha disyat Anukulye harsha dihi sya, pradikulye to dukha dihi, pradikulye to dukha dihi, dvaya bhave nijanandaha, dvaya bhave nijanandaha, nija dukham natukvachit, nija dukham natukvachit. So, anukulye harsha dihi. So, the mind is happy when something is what it likes is happening and therefore it is the mental problem of sukham dukkham oh i am happy now i am unhappy now and all that is coming from the the dihi that is buddhi so anukulye harsha dihi sya pratikulye dukkha dihi and the, the intellect is unhappy when something comes that you don't like it. So likes and dislikes and happiness associated with the likes and happiness and the suffering associated with the likes and dislikes are coming only when, when the dhi, buddhi is there. In the deep sleep state there is no question of likes and dislikes because buddhi itself is folded in the Vijnanamaya Kosha and the folded Vijnanamaya Kosha is called Anandamaya Kosha because there is only Ananda there and that Ananda is coming, coming from not from the likes and dislikes but from the pure self alone that's what is discussed in the in the 11th chapter of this Panchadasi and therefore that's already been established in the deep sleep state there is no likes and dislikes there is no buddhi to know quantify hey, this is I like this is I don't like and I'm happy now I'm not I'm not happy now all this duality based happiness is not there I'm happy as I am 
because I am is pure Satchidananda. Therefore, he called it Dvaya Bhavi. So, absence of both likes and dislikes is what Nijananda, Nijananda, that is the real happiness, that is bliss of self, and Nija is Anando, Nija Dukkam, Atukoshit. There is no the, either the the object oriented happiness is not there object oriented unhappiness is also not there it is free from everything as which is pure satchidana near happiness that comes from that so there is no unhappiness here it's only pure happiness because there is no duality whatsoever so essentially that self alone is a real happiness is So this is further emphasized in the next sloka. Nijanande stire harsha, Nijanande stire harsha, Soka yo vyatya yachanat, Soka yo vyatya yachanat, Mana sarchani katvena, Mana sarchani katvena, Tayormana sa teshadam, Tayormana sa Teshyatam together Nijanande stiri harsha Sokayo vyacha yachana Manasa chanike tvena Tayorn masa natveshatam So Nijanande stiri So in the Nijananda hastiri when one is fully abiding study in the self that I am that means I am established in myself whether not only in the wake, deep sleep state, even in the waking state, cognitively I am associating only with I am, not with this, this, this. So, in spite of this, 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 I am associating myself. So, Nidhananda is theory. Although the, the bliss of self is steady and unchanging, Harsha Soka Yoho, I am happy, I am unhappy, all those dualities, the joys and sorrows. So, Vyachayaha, are, are perturbations in obstacles on chanad in a momentary perturbations from the mind when I say I am happy essentially the mind is calm and quiet where my nizananda reflects I am unhappy mind is completely agitated therefore there is no reflection of ananda or reflection of ananda is perturbed so much that you cannot recognize even so the the agitations and quietness of the mind is only uh, chanikam is momentary for the mind depending upon the nature of its satisfaction that it doesn't depend upon something else for its becoming quiet. If I have that, I am quiet. If I don't have that, I am agitated. So the happiness that I get from having that is only a chanikam, is only momentary until I get another desire. So, Shani Katvena, being unsteady, Tayoho, this both, so the, the life suffering and happiness, Tayoho, is Manasata, is only mental conditions only. And this we have to know because my nature is pure happiness. I am always eternally happy. But perturbations and the Sukha Dukkha that, I, that the mind experiences in the world is due to mind only. If I transcend means if I don't pay attention to the mind's perturbations but turn the mind towards that, then mind gets less agitated and mind taps that Ananda only without perturbations. That is the click of how to be happy 24 hours or 7 days a week. 75 now. Akashe Pyeva Manandaha Akashe Pyeva Manandaha Sattabhani to Samadhi Sattabhani to Samadhi Satta bhani to sampati Vyakya di deha paryantam Vyakya di deha paryantam Was to shwevam vivavyatam Was to shwevam vivavyatam Together Akasi Pyeva manandaha Satta bhani to samati 
వాఖ్యాదయిన వాఖ్యాది దేహ పర్యంతం వస్తుష్వేవం విభావ్యతాం సో ఏవం ఆకాశే అపి జస్ట్ హ్యాస్ ది స్పేస్ స్పేస్ హ్యాస్ నేమ్ అండ్ ఫామ్ ఫామ్ ఈస్ ఇట్స్ ప్రాపర్టీ ఐ కెనాట్ సీ ది ఒరిజినల్ ఐ కెన్ ఓన్లీ రికగ్నైజ్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ బై ది అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆఫ్ ది ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు స్టేట్మెంట్ బికాస్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ నో హౌ డూ ఐ సీ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ we take it granted that we are seeing an object we are not seeing an object we are seeing only the attributes by the senses senses can only measure the attributes so if there is a chair i can see the form of a chair as a reflection of that forming an image in my mind and what i see is only form so form and i give a name and that's what is a chair out there is there really chair out there only when i sit on that then there is a transactionally real otherwise it's only an image in my mind so whenever see whenever the object is there the object is nothing but nama rupa rupa is a attributes attributes is only reflected attributes only mind can see the real attributes the chair attribute belong to the chair only but what i see is the reflected attributes of the object that forms an image in my mind and that is essentially is the the every object including space even though i do not see the space directly you think i am looking at the space you are not looking at the space you are recognizing that there is a space because there are two objects simultaneously you are seeing and the gap between the two is what is called space so space is defined as simultaneous observation of two points therefore the gap between the two points define the space time is the sequential observation of two points uh, that is two events and that essentially space that mean that that if i do so sequential observations and the gap between that is defines the time so the the mind doesn't see directly space and time it is infer from that so therefore what is the property of the space property of the space is to accommodate two points that's what i call it a space that's how i can see or info space by the perception of two things simultaneously that's what essentially space is time is the that i cannot directly see this time in the present i need a past or a future as a two sequential events to define time so therefore the accommodation of even the space and every object is nothing but a perception involving consciousness and existence and therefore the sat and the chit and when the the by nature there is a the ananda is always there but because of the mind agitations that ananda gets reflected or not seen so therefore satyam jnanam anantam sat chit ananda is always there all the time in every perception also but only problem is i am not paying attention to the ananda part i am paying attention to existent part and i am not even paying attention to the consciousness part because consciousness has to illumine that thought then only i am conscious of the existence of the thought therefore existence of the object these are very important uh, to analyze uh, more clearly how perception occurs so those who are interested can go into my website where www.advaitaforum.org look under vedanta paribhasha critical analysis in that if you examine a look at how perceptuality condition is being discussed this is what essentially the subject i the conscious entity has to join the existent sat in the form of a thought for me to be conscious of the existence of the thought which is nothing but existence of the object out there so the form and the attributes are reflected in the thought and the thought is being reflected by the consciousness for me to be conscious of the thought so consciousness has to be there i am there and actually the happiness is also there 
unless the mind gets agitated with the with the likes and dislikes projecting unhappiness or momentary happiness so evam akasha api just like similar to akasha every object has property and the the name nama rupa goes with it and with the nama rupa then forms a thought and the thought is joined with the consciousness and the consciousness and the existence and ananda also comes in if there is no agitations it is a calm serene that means by shifting my attention of the mind to that i am not to the nature of the object so that's what essentially was to in the ob they becomes an obstacles in obstacles objects also evam see vibhad vibhavyatam it should be deduced that every object has this one is nama rupa that is coming from the word asti bhati priyam the the existence and asti bhati consciousness and priyam this happiness are associated from this the brahman so in the in the another text by vidyaranya called drukdusya viveka he makes a statement asti bhati priyam roopam namam chaitchan cha panchakam that the the uh, the there are five aspects asti bhati priyam roopam asti bhati priyam asti bhati priyam that is coming from the brahman and uh, namam roopam so asti bhati priyam roopam namam chaitchan cha panchakam the ajyatrayam brahma roopam jagad roopam tada dvayam so this this the first three belongs to the the pure consciousness the other two belongs to the to the world and that's what essentially akase piva manandaha satta bhani tu sammate vyakhya disi vyakhya dideha paryantam vastu shvevam vibhavyata so same thing has to be applied every object has a name and a form and if you strip off the name and a form what if there is the consciousness that's because of which object is there object is recognized and happiness is also there now 76 is applies to the vayu and all that gati sparse gati sparse वायुरूपम गति स्पर्शे वायुरूपम वक्नेर्दाह प्रकाशनी वक्नेर्दाह प्रकाशनी जलस्य द्रवता भूमिः जलस्य द्रवता भूमिः काठिन्यं चेति निर्णयः काठिन्यं चेति निर्णयः तदा गति स्पर्शे वायुरूपम वक्नेर्दाह प्रकाशते प्रकाशने जलस्य द्रवता भूमिः काठिन्य चेत चेति निर्णयः सो गति स्पर्श ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ टच एंड सो ऑन कम द द वायुरूपम इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द एयर bakne hi daha prakashne so for the properties of the air you have a this contact and the movement is a is a nature of the the vayu and the uh, vayu roopam attributes of the of the of the vayu and vakne daha prakashne so the 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 fire as a property of the dahanam that means the burning capacity and jalasya dravata javasya dravata so the water has the property of flow that means it has it is a viscous viscosity and bhumahi kathinyam so earth has a property of the stiffness that means the hardness and that is a property of the bhumi iti nirnayah that's how we can establish that so gati sparshe vayu roopam vaknir daha prakashane jalasya dravata bhumaihi kaatinyam seeti nirnayah so every one has a property of this and one has to be careful in terms of name and the form goes with every object and if you remove the name and the form what is there is essentially coming from the the sat part and the chit part and ananda part and the statement is any object 
existence of the object is established by the knowledge of its existence and that has to be understood here. May I have to close the door, Karna? Okay, number 77. Asadharana akara, asadharana akara, asadvan dvanna, dhasadvanna pipa, asadjanna vapushyapi, asadhanna vapushyapi, evam vibhavya manasa, evam vibhavya manasa, Tattat rupam yadhositam, tattat rupam yadhositam. Asadharana akara, ashadvanna api, api yapi, evam vibhavya manasa, tattat rupam tatositam. Ashadjana papushvapi. Okay. So, Oshadi Anna, vap, anna Vapuhu. So, in the, the description of the uh, creation, this is Akasha, Vayu, Vayu, Agnihi, Abne, Apaha, Abde, Prithivi, Prithivya, Oshadaya, Oshadi, Bhyonnam, Anna, Purushaha. So, he is now addressing about not only the five aspects of it and how the 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 trees and the plants and the and the food and resulting the the purushas and the life itself is all being discussed and we will take up this sloka again in the after we come back with this we stop here om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om